so although the development of immunotherapy and particularly checkpoint inhibitors is really exciting for all solid tumors and even hematologic malignancies and particularly in metastatic RCC, they do come with a handful of challenges. A couple of them are as follows. One challenge is the issue of pseudoprogression. So a patient may appear as though they have progression on a scan, but it may be pseudoprogression in the sense that that enlargement of the tumor or what appears to be a tumor enlargement is actually only an infiltration of immune cells. And if that patient was maintained on therapy, that, that tumor would subsequently regress in size or at least remain the same. And what that leads to is potentially having patients who seem to be progressing but are not progressing and they're being taken off the immunotherapy, in this case nivolumab, prior to being able to have the optimal benefit. And I think this presents a number of challenges. It's how do, we, how do we measure progressive disease in the setting? If a patient has progressive disease, can we treat them beyond their progression? And we do have data from the phase two trial, from the phase three checkmate 025 trial, that there are a handful of patients that will benefit when they're treated beyond their disease progression. Another challenge with nivolumab and all immunotherapy is the duration of therapy. So again, specifically with the metastatic RCC patients, we definitely have data from the expanded phase one trial, the phase two trial, and the Checkmate 025 phase three trial to suggest that there are a significant number of patients who will come off of therapy for non-PD reasons. In other words, they come off of therapy for intolerability, some adverse event, or other reason. And despite being off of therapy, they are able to sustain a long-term response without any subsequent treatment. And what that produces is a dilemma to figure out, are we really treating patients appropriately in the sense that we're treating them continuously and indefinitely? Or is there some other algorithm that we need to figure out to decide when enough therapy is enough, particularly when we take cost effectiveness and adverse events into consideration? So I'd say the primary issues that we're facing is measuring response, deciding who to treat beyond progression, and deciding what the duration of therapy is.